Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Jurassic World Lost Fallen Kingdom. There's so many names and I've done so many videos today, they're all starting to jumble up. This is the Gallimimus from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's part of the Attack Pack line of toys. Before I jumble my words any further, let's just get into this thing and look at the outside of the package. Alright, we've got a Jurassic World logo. Looks like it's a dinosaur cage, which I like. We're looking at the Gallimimus today, the attack pack. There's Owen in blue. Posable! It says it's posable. I think it's going to be a pretty standard toy. Uh, check that out. It does mention the Jurassic Facts app, so if you scan the bottom of his foot, you can unlock a digital version of this same toy and get some cool dinosaur facts as well. I think I've reviewed every single one of these on here so far, except for this Gallimimus. So there we go. Question mark. Question mark. What? Looks like zero to three sad babies. There they are. Zero to three sad babies approve of this toy. Yeah, nothing on the bottom. Oh, there's, there's the barcode thing. All right, now they do do this thing with Hasbro where you can just pop these things open pretty easily, which I like. Uh, now, this one I'm not going to take super care with. I'm just going to rip it open. But it's nice to do it one-handed. Now, guys, as I'm one-handedly, two-handed now, opening this toy, I got to mention Amazon links. I got to mention eBay store. I got to mention Spreadshirt.com. What else we got going on? Patreon, if you're into that. I like this little guy. He's very basic. This will be a quick, quick, simple, easy review. Uh, you know what? Let's just go throw him right in the diorama. We'll do it there. All right, there we have close-ups of our Gallimimus. Notice the texture on the plastic. It looks pretty good. I like the face. The face looks good. It looks very lizard-like. Very lizard-like. So the head, the neck rather, goes up and down. The arms do only rotate. And the legs only rotate, so very simple. There's the bottom of his foot I was telling you about for the Jurassic Facts app. Boom, but notice the speckled texture of the skin there. Kind of neat. A little whiter belly. And then on top we have that cool little paint job. This is a basic, basic dinosaur. Um, I like him. I don't know that I needed him. It looks way better than the old Gallimimus, though, that's for sure. The old Gallimimus from 93 just looked weird. I don't have one. I don't own one, so I can't show him to you. I mean, maybe if you had like four or five of these things. See, that looks kind of good like that. Like he's being chased away by this raptor. That I like. I think that's that's doable. That makes sense. This Gallimimus would be like trying to dip. Like, nope, let me get out of here. Or even a Rex. Maybe a thrash and throw Rex would be a good addition to this because he could pick up and thrash him around and throw him. So that's his, I think that's his purpose. Is like the same way I use this guy to get murdered every time. I would do that with him, even though he doesn't have dino damage. Look, everybody's gunning after him. Herrerasaurus, or who's that, the Mono? The Monolophosaurus is back there gunning for him. Spitter's gunning for him. Velociraptor's gunning for him. He's gonna run right into another raptor. There's a Herrerasaurus back there. There are a bunch of Dimorphodons, Pteranodons, all gunning for this poor Gallimimus. Somebody save him, please! Alright, my friends, I think he's a decent figure. Again, maybe make a herd of them. Buy three or four, seven bucks each. It's a little expensive, but... If you're gonna buy three or four of them, it's expensive. For one of them, yeah, sure, why not? Add them to your park. I think it's cool. Uh, I'd say a thumbs up, but not necessary. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Is it a thumbs up? Is it a thumbs down? Leave your comments and everything down below. I appreciate hearing that kind of stuff from you. So yeah, do that. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. If you want to take it up a notch, use a big dinosaur swipe on that bell. That way you get notified every time I drop a brand new video and you don't miss a thing. Lots of Star Wars content, lots of Jurassic content. Whatever the heck else I feel like doing, it's a Dano channel, man. I, I'm into a bunch of stuff. So, there you go. If you want to support, I think I told you earlier, Amazon, eBay, everything. You, there's links. There's links down below. You guys know what to do. Guys, I want to feature you in the vids. If you're part of the Sad Baby Squad, you get the notifications. You guys hang out. Use hashtag Sad Baby Squad or at me on Twitter and Instagram, at Dano Flores. Tag me with pictures of your own, like, collections, your own dinosaur stuff, dinosaur impressions. That's cool. Drawings are cool, too. I like sharing drawings. Or video clips, if you want to end my video by saying my catchphrase, which is... Hold on to your butts, and goodbye forever. Just send me a video clip of it. Please. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video series, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button, or I'll come bite ya! <laughs> you know I love you. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. If you like Star Wars, be sure to check out one of my other videos. But the best thing you can do to help me out is to share. Share my vids. Do that right now. Go do it. Now!